We're pretty much all having a hard time right now, and that's okay, but I think we could all use a little hope, and the idea of resilience has been on my mind a lot lately. So while we work on being resilient in the face of our current challenges, let's take a look at what resilience means in ecology. There are two standard definitions for resilience, and they both relate to ecology in different ways. The first definition of resilience is the ability to recover quickly from difficulties, and the formal definition of ecological resilience is somewhat similar. It's the ability of an ecosystem to resist and or recover from damage caused by perturbation or disturbance. So what's an ecological disturbance? This is something I'm really interested in, so I've chosen to focus my research on it. Disturbances are anything that can cause a noticeable or dramatic change in an ecosystem. Examples of ecological disturbance can include flooding, fire, deforestation, chemical spills, introduction of invasive species, and many others. You'll probably notice that several of these can be caused by human action, which is a whole other conversation. But it's also interesting to note that many of us would probably consider all of these disturbances to be negative as our first thought. But disturbances aren't necessarily negative. I mean, this is, and this, and also this, okay, we get it. But as I explained in my video about the differences between conservation and preservation, ecosystems are dynamic things, and most are healthier with some change and flux. So some disturbances or dramatic changes can be typical components of ecosystems. My favorite example of this is fire. A lot of ecosystems, including grasslands and some kinds of forests, evolved with fairly regular fire disturbances that shaped the communities of plants that are able to survive in those environments. And in turn, those plant communities determined which groups of animals are able to live there, too. But say a disturbance doesn't belong or causes harm to an ecosystem, what makes an ecosystem resilient? This is an active area of research, so of course I won't be able to provide you with an exhaustive list of answers. But scientists have noticed that certain things help build resilience in ecosystems, and maybe these ideas can help all of us, too. An important component of any resilient ecosystem is a healthy soil. Soils can hold water after flood sequester pollutants from chemical spills, and harbor seeds when fire sweeps through. Soils also facilitate lots of chemical reactions that form the basis for functioning in an ecosystem. I think we can all agree that a solid foundation is a valuable thing. Another component of resilient ecosystems is functional redundancy. This might sound complicated, but what it basically means is that a strong ecosystem will have lots of backup. Rather than having one type of organism that works on decomposition, or one type of plant that creates fruit to feed birds, or one type of insect that pollinates flowers, strong ecosystems usually have multiple organisms filling each of these roles or niches. Redundancy is important because if a disturbance comes through and wipes out a particular organism, say chemical pesticides kill off a species of bee, hopefully some of the other redundant organisms that share that niche will be able to step in and keep the ecosystem functioning. Again, I think we can all agree that redundancy, backups, and support groups can come in handy regardless of the specific kind of resilience we're discussing. There's a second definition for resilience that can apply to ecology, and more so at the individual level. Resilience can also be defined as the potential for an object to spring back into shape after it's been changed, like elastic. This definition made me think of the idea of phenotypic plasticity in nature. A phenotype is the way an individual organism appears behaviorally and physically, both on the inside and the outside, and plasticity is the ability to change, like elasticity. Together, the phrase phenotypic plasticity refers to how individual organisms, as they grow and develop, are able to adapt to the conditions of their surroundings and form themselves in a way to better survive those conditions. Being able to adapt to new challenges in our environment is a skill I think we can all value. <laughs> Had you heard about the idea of resilience in ecology before? What's your favorite example of phenotypic plasticity? And how are you? I hope I've been able to share some good ideas about resilience with you, and I'd love to hear your thoughts down in the comments. If you liked this video, don't forget to like it. If you didn't like this video, please share it with someone who would. And if you'd like to support The Roving Naturalist, remember to hit the subscribe button and the bell notification icon, then go check out my Patreon page. You can also follow me on Twitter and Instagram. As always, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.